Good morning. Today we're going to be showing you how to fit the NAS hood with the tailgate bar, the Z channels and the tailgate clips. So in the kit you will receive, when you get your hood, your tailgate clips and your fitting kit, your rivets, your Z channels to go around the vehicle and your tailgate bar. Later on in the video we'll show you how this is all fitted. And now we'll talk about the tools you're going to be required to fit these items. A drill, safety glasses when you're using a drill, six and a half mil drill bit, a five mil drill bit, a ratchet with a 10 mil socket, a four mil allen key, a pencil, sensor punch, a hammer, and a rivet gun. Okay, step one, we're going to show you how to fit the Z channels to the vehicle. We have fit them to this vehicle, but we're still going to talk you through how to fit them. The Z channels do come pre-drilled, so don't worry about having to drill them. When you fit the Z channels, you want to make sure you get them as close as you can to the top of the body capping with very little gap. You will, you will require somebody else to help hold it in place. Also, when it comes to fitting them, You've got the rear capping that goes down the back of the vehicle. You want to make sure you don't rest the Z channels onto it. And then you repeat the same on the other side. <clears throat> and you'd also want to put the smaller Z channel in the kit on this side of the vehicle. And making sure you're flush with the capping underneath and to that side. There is a slightly longer Z channel that will go on the back of the vehicle and again following the same principle making sure you tuck it up under the body capping and to the side of the rear trim and you repeat what you did down the other side on this side. A little bit more about the Z channel. The Z channel is shaped and as I said it does come with the holes already pre-drilled so the holes go towards the top of the vehicle and your hood will tuck in under this little lip here. What we're going to do is going to show you now how to fit the Z channels. So what we want to do is make sure you get the Z channels roughly where you want it all, all tucked up neatly along this edge and this part of the body capping. When you're happy, mark it with your pencil so you can see where you're going. Sensor punch, that will help you guide the drill in. Now we're ready to drill. Before you drill, make sure you put your safety glasses on. And using the 5mm drill bit that I said earlier in the film, you're going to slowly make your drill. making sure you don't swipe any swath away with your hands, you don't want that in your, in your hands. And at the same time, making sure it's clear behind where you're drilling. Now you've got your hole, you want to put your rivet in, and using your rivet gun, Going to rivet, and that is your Z channel fitted. Okay, step two we're going to be fitting the rear tailgate bar clip. This one has been fitted onto the vehicle, but we are going to show you how to fit it on the other side. When aligning, you want to make sure you're flush along the rear of the body capping and on this edge, and then mark with a pencil or a marker pen. So I will show you how you want to do it. Just making sure you're nice and flush along the front and the back.
and with the centre punch and the hammer you're going to put a nice little dink to help the drill guide its way through when you're getting it in Keeping the drill nice and straight. And then repeat for the second hole. Once you've done all your drilling and you're finished, good recommended tip is to go in the vehicle with a hoover. In the kit, obviously, you will get a uh, black cap head Allen bolt using the six mil, sorry, four mil Allen key. You're going to put that onto the hose, build the washer, and down through. And with a washer and a nut, you're going to catch that in under. And do the same, same again. So the ratchet and the 10 mil and the uh, the 10 mil socket and the Allen key, you're now going to tighten this up. You don't want to go too hard, but just so it's nicely uh, nice and caught. And remember, making sure it's kept in line along the capping. Again, doing the same again with the rear one. Tighten that one up so it's nice and tight. <clears throat> and there you have your rear tailgate, tailgate bar clips fitted. Okay. okay, step three, we're going to be showing you how to fit the mass hood. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to fit it with one person. So that requires putting the hood onto the bonnet of the vehicle. What you can do is place something onto the body of the vehicle to protect the paintwork if you are worried about your paintwork. So we're going to show you how to do this. Okay, with the new uh, Exmoor Trim NAS hood, we've tailor made it for fitting two types of vehicles. One with the genuine North American spec five stud bar, as you can see on this side of the vehicle. And if we take you around to the other side of the vehicle, we've tailor made it for the UK and the European market with the standard overdoor drain channel and the side drop door drain channel. So either way, how you have your vehicle set up, the hood is gonna work with these two options. Make sure you place the hood Close your can to the front of the windscreen so you can get to the front of the hood. The front of the hood will also have in it a plastic bridge which will sl slot into the front of your uh, top of your windscreen.
if you climb into your vehicle like this, little point, probably best to remove your seat bases, save your treading all over your seats. So what you're gonna do is now, is fit the front of the hood into your top of your windscreen, which just slots in. And you want to do that across the whole width of the vehicle. But now that's in seat, I'm going to do with the rest of your hood, you're going to lean over and you're going to basically walk it towards the back of the vehicle. Well, gradually, unfolding it as you go. Working around from each side, pulling down the sides and back of the vehicle. Once you've got the hood in place and you're happy, you want to start with fixing the hood down. So starting at the back of the vehicle, you want to fix the hood to your Z channels. So what you're going to do is on the hood there's a plastic, more plastic rigidity which will slot in to the Z channels. You're going to do a double fold. So one and two. At the same time, you may need somebody else, but this can be done on your own, and it is very tight. This hood has been fitted, this vehicle, a couple of times, so it has relaxed. Then, you're going to push down, and it just slots in to the Z channel. So now we've got this one done. <clears throat> Close the back of the vehicle. And repeat it on the other side again. Fold. Pull down. Unfold again. Once you've got the rear clip in, you're going to come down to the front here and make sure you get a nice seal around the overdoor seal. So making sure you get it all nicely pulled in all the way around and it creates a nice seal. With the front of the hood, you want to tuck it into the front of the overdoor drain, sorry, the side of the door drain channel. And pull. That part of the hood down, making sure you've got a nice waterproof seal around there. Once you're happy with that, you can continue with folding and attaching the side of the hood to the Z channels. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold, fold again, but your second fold is going to be 
into the Z channel like that. This hood shows it very easily. When you get your when you get your hood, it will be a lot harder. This hood's been fitted and it's been taken off a couple of times, so the material has relaxed. After a while, your new hood will relax and will fit just as easy as that. Again, fold, and the second fold, as I said on the first bit, literally is going into the Z channel and work your way along. And the last part is fold, and then the second fold is into the Z channel. Once again, repeating, like I showed on the other sides, you want to make sure you get a nice, perfect seal all around the front. Pulling it down, making sure you get that nice waterproof seal. This part of the hood, you have two poppers and a bit of Velcro. That will go over the five stud bar and on the inside of the five stud bar there are two poppers just pops down and secures there and then pull the remaining part of the top of the hood down to create that nice waterproof seal And then repeat along the bottom, like I showed you. Again, fold, and then the second fold. is into the Z channel. So fold, and again. Working your way all the way along the vehicle. And then fold and the final fold as it goes into the Z channel. Okay, step four is going to be showing you how to fit the tailgate bar to the hood and to the tailgate, tailgate bar clips. So inside the back of the hood, there is this piece of beading. On the bar, there is a channel that that beading is going to fit into. So what you're going to do is slide that all the way along the hood. On one side, I find it easier doing it this way. You want to slot in tailgate bar into one side of the clip and then with the other you're going to pull down it is going to be tight you're going to pull down and gently twist and push zip over the sides depends on if you've got a swing away rear door or a drop down one close your rear door put your zips in once you've got the hood in place you'll also want to put in the four pad wraps so you've got these on all four corners of the hood so you just want to wrap it around the bar and Velcro shut. So you've got two of these on the rear and just behind the driver's and passenger seat again Velcro round and that's then parts done. At the back of the hood you'll have this piece of extra wrapping will go round the rear hoop and pop her up 
to the top of the bar. In front of the vehicle, on the last front hoop, you'll also have the same wrap around. So again, you wanna pull it to the front, taking all the slack out and wrapping it round to the rear of the bar to the popper studs. And that will take out all the slack of your hood.